Obama's plan didn't sit well with some of Monrovia residents. We, didn't need guns. we don't need guns to protect us for now. What we need now is drugs. We need vaccines to curtail the spread of this virus. So it's unfortunate to hear that America is sending over 3,000 troops. So here America is sending... What kind of troops? Are they armed men or medical personnel? If they are armed troops, then I will start to question myself whether this virus can be fought by guns or so. But if it's medical people, then that is great. Others felt any form of help is welcome. It's welcoming. It is welcoming because to see America sending 3,000 men, especially in this period of crisis, to come and fight Ebola, we welcome it. The Ebola crisis could end up costing nearly 1 billion US dollars to contain. Aid agencies like Doctors Without Borders are calling for more help. Limitation for the moment is for MSF uh, as an organization, because we are working also in Guinea and in Sierra Leone. So we will not be able to, to, uh, to have more than three or 400 beds here in Moravia. It's never going to be more than that. And it's not going to be enough for the uh, amplitude of the, of the epidemic here. So we will continue. We are calling for more people to come in and uh, uh, help in the response. And we will continue to, to do that. More than 2,400 people have died, with Liberia bearing the brunt. And the WHO fears cases will soon double in the affected countries. Carol Oyola, CCTV.